Hello, hi, and welcome to Let Me Boy to Sleep. I just realised you can see too much of me. How can I hide my belly? Hold a second. I don't like this. I'm going to move this up a little bit. In fact, if I move this there, they are. That's better. <laughs> I scared myself with my big fat belly. So, hello. Just trying to get all sorted. So, hope you're well. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland, and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing? So, I kind of want to see. Right, it's not showing anything there. So hopefully, I will be able to see any messages I get on Facebook. I'm also live on YouTube as well. So what I'm going to do quickly. This is a little bit boring. Sorry about this. But kind of have to do it in order to share share to a page so I'm going to share to my other Facebook pages perhaps I should have done this before I started playing with my not with myself I'm you know playing the streaming whatever blah blah so please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Share, edit, post. I don't want to edit it. I just want to share it. Okay, any minute now. <laughs> any minute. So I've got a couple of people on Facebook. Hello. No one's messaged me yet. If you want to participate on YouTube, or on Facebook, then please do so. I will say hello to you. That's it. <sighs> and relax. Share. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is... I'm not quite sure how this is coming across on YouTube because the picture, when I did it last time, let's move this microphone there a little bit, that's better. When I did it last time, the, oh, it's very loose. I have to tidy that up. Oh. I don't mind loose things, just sometimes it's nice to have a bit of tightness. Um, okay, right, Sebastian, all I'm going to ask you to do is, remember last time, it's on Facebook, remember last time you were on here and you scared everyone away? Please don't do that again or I will block you and ban you. I've invited you to come and participate and say hi and stuff, but... Don't don't be uh, alienating the audience. That's my job. No. So hey, I'm still wondering, still thinking, still pondering the idea of doing a regular live stream. Sebastian says, it's funny that YouTube is faster with the streaming than Facebook. In what way faster? How is it faster? Hmm? 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 Um, the thing is, Sebastian, he's, he's, he's um, what my t-shirt? This is falling apart, this t-shirt. But I'm wearing it anyway because... I like it. 
it has meaning to me. Meaning. Excuse me. That's nice. So hi to anyone on YouTube. And please leave a message. I'll check. Live chat to go through. Uh, top chat. Nothing. No one's posted any messages on, on YouTube yet. But I will, you know, anyone on YouTube that's watching, anyone on Facebook, hello. 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 Hope you're all well. And I do these, these Let Me Boy to Sleep podcasts. Um, l and &E plays, says hello. Hiya. You all right? On YouTube. Sebastian says, nice to see you. Um, looking very sexy tonight. Well, thank you, Sebastian. It's very kind of you. Um, basically, I've been making these Let Me Boy to Sleep podcasts the four years now something like that i think i started in 2018 but it's about i think but i might be wrong leslie's on uh facebook hi leslie but it's been a, it's a while i mean i've got 900 and let me check i'll give you the exact number this is number 900 no this is number 796 Really? Is that all? 796 doesn't seem like a lot. I don't know why. It just feels like it should be higher. It's nearly 800 though, isn't it? I suppose. 796? I don't know. It just feels It feels like it should be more like a 1,000. But it just feels like... I guess it feels like it for those that have watched and listened for all those years. Leslie says, I'm watching Jason, but need my bed. Would love to chat. Love an earlier live chat. Well, we'd all love earlier things. I can't. It's, thanks, Leslie. Um, it is impossible for me to please. I don't seem to be able to please anyone <laughs> when it comes to the live chats. Every other time I do one, someone says, oh, it should be later. It should be earlier. I missed it can you do it this time and I just it's hard it's really hard to you know this is a this is let me boy to sleep this is like a good time when you want to go to sleep sort of 11 o'clock 12 o'clock but it's hard to sort of you know sort of get a good time um this isn't any good for Australia it's not much good for America necessarily because America are what seven hours behind Australia? Uh, Twelve hours, I think. So, if I was to do a regular, like every day, like Monday to Friday, live, let me bore you to sleep stream. It would be around this time, eleven to one, maybe. Um. Unless I did a 10 to 12. I just don't know. Um, it's hard because the the majority of my audience are in America. So it's, uh, so it's just weird. It's a weird one. I can't really figure it out. Um, I don't give any notice either. So it's not much good really for a lot of people. You know, it... I guess it'd be nice to know. But if you know I'm going to be on at 11 o'clock every night, you can kind of, I guess, make changes or something. I'm not sure. l &E Plays on YouTube says, your podcast helped me through some... Oh, blimey. It didn't stay on long enough. Your podcast helped me through some tough times throughout COVID. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm really pleased that um, I can be useful, I guess. It's nice. Um, Sebasti Sebastian says it's designed to watch it end in bed and fall asleep to it. 
Yeah, I, I suppose. Um, I, I mean, I realise, well, I was told. None of this is my own realisation. It's just things that I've been told by people. I'm going to got a spotty neck. Look at that. Ooh, you want to see my nipple? The biggest spot of all was just there. Um, that's better. I... What did I do? Yeah, it's COVID. Some, yes, people, some people have said that they listen to me, listen to these ones, especially more than anything else, um, uh, for company, or for just something to listen to, something, I guess, just a voice in the background, maybe, you know? So... I would, I'd love to be able to satisfy everybody as far as being on at the right time, especially someone like Leslie. Like Leslie has been listening to me, watching me for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And, years. and there was a period when we did, I did quite a few regular live streams and Leslie was there um, for those. This is a few years back. So, you know, I kind of sometimes when I when I see someone like Leslie saying I wish it was earlier, I kind of, I wish it was earlier as well so that I could sort of um, satisfy him. But, you know, it's, it is difficult to, to, it's not about pleasing everyone, but just to, well, it is, I guess. I mean, it's impossible. It's an impossible task. It's like, um, making myself look slim. I mean, you could say, yeah, but you have a go on a diet, eat less crappy food and do some exercise. Well, that's just rude. You don't know what it's like to be me. You're not my boss. Oh, I've got a message. Uh, Leslie says, I am watching Jason, but, but need my bed. I would love an earlier live chat. Okay, sorry. Um, I've already read that. Uh, it's just come up on my other screen. My other screen. So here's the latest news. Which is weird. See, I don't talk about COVID. But I'm going to today. Not because I'm not going to talk about COVID. COVID but I'm going to talk about something that's... Um, valid in my life is I got a message from my dad on WhatsApp. He loves WhatsApp. I've deleted WhatsApp now, but he loves WhatsApp for some reason. I don't know why. And he sent me a message. Not to see, he won't, he won't send a message to my phone. <laughs> he won't phone me on my phone. He'll use WhatsApp. And for me, WhatsApp is for people that I don't know very well. It's for strangers. It's for, you know, people who can contact me, you know, not for family. It's not what, that's not what WhatsApp's for, not in my mind. Anyway, I deleted it. So he can't contact me that way anymore. He'll have to, he'll have to use my phone if he wants to contact me. And he sent me a message saying, oh, everything's fine here. Um... Still a bit ill after catching COVID, but we, we're getting there. Like, what? So he sent me a message saying he's, he's, he's got COVID. Both him, both my parents have got COVID. Like, okay. Bit of a weird, bit of a... I think it's a rubbish way to communicate personally. But, you know, it's just me. I don't think you should communicate important things via a text message or... It's probably because I've been I've been dumped a couple of times by text, so not my favourite way to to go with that. Not that my dad was dumping me, you know, because that'd be weird. So he, I phoned, I phoned him up. They've had COVID for ten days before he even contacted me to let me know, and he wasn't letting me know. He was just like, "Oh, I hope you're well." Yeah, we both got COVID. Um, just like a, an aside. Now, after two years of, well, more than two years, isn't it now? 
of this crap, of this COVID stuff, after two years of that, for me, it's not just a light subject, which is why I don't talk about it generally, because I try and keep things light and friendly and a bit jovial when I do these podcasts. I don't want to talk about serious subjects necessarily, although I do sometimes, but generally, you know, I try and keep it um, gentle. You know what I mean? A bit gentle. A bit, uh, a bit like that. Anyway, I phoned up and they said, yeah, we've had it for 10, got diagnosed 10 days ago. Uh, your stepmum's uh, still ill, but I'm, I'm getting better. Right. 10 days. And she's talking about she can go out now because the 10 days quarantine's over, even though she's still ill. And I'm like, well, no. If you're still ill, you might be contagious. And so she can do another test. But I think if the test comes at clear that she hasn't, she's going to go out even though she's ill. Um, but then she said, even if it comes up as she has still got it, she can still go out because she's done the 10 days thing. I said, well, no, it's, it's a, it's a weird one. I just, I hope she gets better soon, you know, cause it's horrible. William says, sup, sup, Jason, sup, William. That's on Facebook. So I got YouTube going as well. I got two people watching on YouTube, two people watching on fake book. And yeah, so it was just weird. Then I found out my brother, my stepbrother's got it as well. That's her, because my dad remarried. He's been married about 16 times. And she's his 15th wife. 16th wife, something like that. And he got first got married when he was nine. And she she's not been well, but her son's got it. So, oh, so I'm the last to hear anything. And it annoyed me. But they didn't get it. They didn't quite understand. Uh, their, their attitude was, well, we would have called, we'd let you know if he was in hospital. Okay. So I think that kind of really lets you know. Because I said in the end, like, well, clearly you don't care you got it so I guess perhaps I shouldn't either it's no big deal it's just COVID well if it's no big deal why have you gone through all the jabs and done all that stuff and quarantined and stayed indoors for nearly two years if it wasn't a big deal it is a big deal um, because it has absolutely destroyed society in some ways Arr. So angry. So yeah, like, well, if Boris partied during COVID, you can too. Oh, you're so out of date, Sebastian. Talking about Boris partying. He's not your prime minister. Stick to your own, whoever you're with, I don't know, um, Nazi party or whoever you're with. You stay with them. You're not, don't you be commenting on my wonderful Boris. He's wonderful. I mean, some people do say, what's it like to have a clown in, in charge of your country? And um, I just say, well, a lot of those people, what well, Sebastian says, yeah, but you're... Uh, Sebastian, that's your first warning. I don't think Tourette's works when it comes to typing. So you can control what you type, can't you? 
You might not be able to control what you say because you clearly got some issues with your words and stuff, which is why I'm not having you on the camera or having you, you know, and this is for Sebastian. But, uh, you know, you're welcome to join in, but, you know, just just keep it to normal conversation. If you ever had a normal conversation ever, just keep it light, keep it nice. And we've got to talk about pervy stuff. That's for when me and you talk privately, Sebastian. This, this is not that time. <laughs> See, Sebastian's very funny, but very um, inappropriate when it comes to family entertainment such as this. Uh, see, you can't stop, can you? Right, you're on your second warning now, Sebastian. So if you keep going, I will have to block you again. So just try... I think with him, it's like trying to... trying to teach a monkey to play chess. It's... No matter what you do, it just keeps, like, knocking, knocking everything on the floor. Like, stop it. Like, don't put them up your bum. Just just put it on it. Just, like, move that over there. It just might knock everything over. So that's what he's like. He's just... I am just saying observational facts. I am in no way offensive. Not to me. I'm thinking about the people listening and a specific uncle that you keep mentioning. Stop mentioning that person. Because in this country, in England, it is very offensive to even say the name to some people, okay? It isn't actually a joke subject, as it is to you. So, he's obsessed with... Sebastian's obsessed with British... Not British culture so much, but the, the weird parts of the country... Like weird stories and weird news bulletins and weird celebrities and stuff. And to me, it's just normal because I've grown up with it. But he's discovering it for the first time, some of these people. And he can't believe what he's seeing, like what's happened. The kind of things that the celebrities have got away with or did used to get away with. And... For me, it's not a novelty. It's just uh, British showbiz. Per yeah, <laughs> say it, say it. No, I'm not going to say words like that. Showbiz. That's a naughty word. Anyway, yeah. So my family have all got COVID. Well, three of them, and I just. I just realise, you know, it's like I've, I'm not part of it. I'm not part of the family. I should have had my own family, shouldn't I? I could be a granddad now. I'm 51. And I don't even, I, don't, I have none of that stuff. So it's, it's, I suppose I'm trying to cling on to, I'm a cling on. Maybe trying to cling on to being a son when... That's gone. Those days are gone. You know, I'm just... I'm just... I'm his son, but... You know, there's nothing... There's not really anything there. Um, I don't know, it's weird. I just want a daddy. I just want my daddy back. <laughs> so, yeah... Um, I'll probably do this live broadcast and then never not do another one for about a year because um, I don't know if I want to do live streams. I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure. Not sure. Oh, I got an itchy bum. So, other than that, what? I went to the chemist yesterday. <sighs> the pharmacist and I said I'll come to collect my prescription they said okay and she hands me the prescription hands it to me 
And I'm thinking, what's a big bag? Not referring to her, I'm talking about the prescription. And I said, oh, I didn't say anything. I just thought to myself, that's big. Because I've been prescribed by a doctor eight weeks worth of vitamin D tablets. Or, you know, uh, because my vitamin D, I'm, I'm vitamin D su sufficient, insufficient, deficient. Yeah. And so I've got eight weeks of vitamin D. And then I have to have blood tests again. And they're going to test and see if, whether or not it's kind of gone up or not. <laughs> So Sebastian is talking about blue prescription pills. What 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 what's a blue pill then? What what's rude about that? Is that Viagra? Is that? I wouldn't know. You don't have to. You get them over the counter now, don't you? You don't have to get them prescribed. I mean, I've never had. I've never used Viagra. I never had the need for a Viagra pill. Because, well, first of all, why would you want to be, okay, you just used the word, um, pumped up. So you say pumped up for more than about five minutes anyway. That's all you need it for, isn't it, for about five minutes. So why would you want to take a pill that makes you, that basically gives you a third leg for three hours? What's the point in that? I mean, you know, I wouldn't be able to see where I was going. It'd like be banging me in the face. I wish. I, mean, I don't. I don't wish that I had a thingy banging me in the face. I'm just, just saying. I'll move on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on very swiftly. Yes. Oh. Anyway. Oh yeah. So I get. I go into the cafe to have a breakfast after getting my prescription and the cl place closes at two o'clock on a Saturday. So this was yesterday and I get there about 10 to 5 to something like that. Open up the prescription carefully. I don't just like empty them on the table because I don't want everyone to know that I'm a, well, that I take that much medication and my my vitamins were not in there at all. At all. I was like, what? What? So she gave me next month's medication. Which I should have collected probably, probably about a week's time. Maybe two weeks' time. But not the one that I actually went in there for. Why that wasn't there, I don't know. Uh, whether or not the doctor did prescribe it. Maybe the doctor forgot. Maybe they sent it to the wrong place. I didn't know. I don't know. Uh, man. Really? Really? I'm so confused. So that was a bit annoying because I couldn't go back because the place is closed. Couldn't go today because, well, it's closed as well. Although I do think they take turns to open on Sundays, like maybe once a month or something. But there's no point because the buses are rubbish on a Sunday. Basically, we go back in time to about 1972 on a Sunday. Nothing happening there. No way of getting anywhere. Unless you've got a car. Or a bike. Or a motorbike. Or a hand glider. But that wouldn't really work. How would you... Where would you land? Where would you take off, really? Because you, you need a cliff, don't you, really, for a hand glider to take off. I'm worried that Sebastian hasn't sent any more weird messages. Uh, he probably has. He's probably sending me messages, like, privately... Uh, angry. Uh, I just want to ruin everything for you. Why won't you let me ruin everything for you? Yeah, for you, for you. yeah, Sebastian. Thanks. Ruin. Fuck that done. Oh, Facebook just cut off there for a second. 
but YouTube seems to be working all right, which is good. Ooh, Sebastian says, you haven't said anything worthy of commentary. Good. That's how it's supposed to be. Brooke is there. Hi, Brooke, if you're watching. Yeah, that's good. I haven't said anything worth commentary. That's good because it's supposed to be boring. That's the whole point of it is me to just be boring so you can listen and drift off to sleep. Love you still. Oh, thank you, Brooke. Love you too. Mwah. Sebastian says, I don't need to point out all the time that you're banned from various local businesses because of certain events. He's lying. Uh, not all businesses, just some. So, um, yeah, I'm just still doing my thing. Still doing my thing. I've got more stuff. Sebastian says, it is so because I say so. Oh, there's this, there's this Star Wars program that I watched. Um, I forget what it's called, but there's this character in it who every now and then, keep when he talks, he says, I have spoken. <laughs> and that's it. And I thought, how wonderful that would be to be able to go through life telling people things, you know, uh, and then just finishing it with, I have spoken. Um, the only time I ever heard anything like that before was with Sesame, no, not Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock. The trash heap has spoken. Remember that? Anyone? Hmm, 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 Oh, <sighs> Nikki says, I can't see, hi Nikki, Nikki Evans, uh, I can't see special messages and I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, <laughs> well, um, I don't know why that is, uh, he's coming up on my Facebook page, Unless you blocked him. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because uh, I've got my laptop just to the left of me. And I've got Papa Smurf to the right. And I've got my left. And, and it's showing the Facebook page. And it's showing like the different people that are commenting. With YouTube, if I don't see it, it the, the comments won't stay on there, I guess. Oh, Matrix Pill, Pride, I guess. Sorry, l and &E plays. Um, for some reason, the messages won't stay on YouTube, on the screen. Because I'm using my iPad for YouTube. And hopefully you can hear me okay. It's probably not hugely loud, but it is, um, hopefully it's okay. Sorry, I'm going to apologize. No, I just, I don't... It's not coming up. It's like with Facebook, the the messages stay on the screen. With YouTube, for some reason, it's not coming up on there, and I don't know why. Live chat: all messages are available, are uh, um to see. I'll put it on there. So hopefully they'll stay on there now. No, they haven't. They've gone off again. I don't know why that is. I don't know why. I don't know why. So, okay. So, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hope you're well. Uh, reactor to void, third ward, and complete. Yeah, good. Um, your favourite... Uh, <laughs> the audio is now synchronised. So, basically... Sebastian's now watching on YouTube as well. He's messaging me on YouTube as well as Facebook. How are you doing both? You must have two different org not organs. Um, uh, I don't know. 
I have one on a mind you you can have two different pages I guess can't you on a computer uh, I'm very slow these days it should be synchronized because live unless of course I'll tell you what it is on Facebook it cut off for about a second and came back on again YouTube hasn't gone off at all so maybe it's kind of kept it's caught up with itself maybe I won't double obscene contact redactor. <laughs> oh dear. Give up. Just anyone else want to say anything? Any text messages or anything like that? Uh, if you're on YouTube watching or on Facebook. And Eleni says, I can hear you perfectly. Oh, brilliant. That's good. I mean, there's a little bit of space between me and the iPad. But I've got a microphone connected into the phone. iPhones are just never... They've never had great microphones for some reason. And I used to make videos on the iPhone going back to 2011, I think was my first iPhone. And... Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had an iPhone. 2011. And it used to be, I don't know, it used to be echoey, very, very echoey. Um, and it's quite, I don't know if the videos are still on YouTube, they probably are. Not all of my videos are on YouTube, the, a lot of them I took off because the quality was too bad. The the picture was awful or the sound was awful. Uh, I'm trying to get a bit better quality. Um, Nikki says I'm good, thanks. That's that's good. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. What about anyone else that's watching? How are you doing? Let me know. Obviously, anyone listening, because I'm making, I'm recording this for my podcast as well. So when I update my video, when this is all done, I will add the video. Um, to my, so the video will be on YouTube. It will be on there anyway, because of being a live stream. Laura says, hello, I have missed listening to your hypno videos. It has been a long time. That's Laura. Hi, Laura, on YouTube. The battery's running low on my laptop. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll close that. Um, yeah, I, I used to... I'm guessing you used to listen to me in the past or watch my videos in the past. Haven't really... I mean, I've done a few bits lately. But I was predominantly a YouTuber. I did podcasts as well, you know, at the same time. But my focus used to be videos on YouTube. Uh, and the podcasts were quite often just, uh, I would extract the audio out of the video and put that on the podcast. This is going back a while, quite a while. So I still had podcasts running side by side with the videos, but YouTube was my that was my kind of uh, focus and then really I, I deleted my my I was gonna say most popular channel because even then I wasn't compared to today's kind of standards I was, I was getting what 45,000 plays a month so that you know it's not a lot is it but for me it was Everything was starting to go up. I mainly listen to you on Spotify, says Ellen E. Plays. Cool, thank you. Um, I This will be available on Spotify, just there will be, it might be a little bit edited, but not hugely really. But that's what that microphone to my right is. The one to the left is the one plugged into my phone for Facebook. But the one to my right is for the 
podcast and there's an iPad over there and this is recording and there's my um, roadcaster you can't see it but it's over there which is helping to record a better quality sound make it a little bit louder as well even though to be fair there was a bit too much background sound in the room it might be the laptop I don't know it might have been static being created from the various things I've got going so I'm recording at quite a fairly low level so I'll have to increase it in editing so the podcast what I'm saying the podcast will be available on my Spotify podcast the let me bore you to sleep um, as well as um, all the others all the other places so so I've got so there's not a lot of people actually watching but I've got three on YouTube and three on Facebook but I think one of those is on both at the same time so please give me a like if you like what I do Yee! please subscribe yeah please subscribe if you haven't already um, I've been thinking uh, this is sort of to what Laura Laura said um, I've been thinking about getting back and making a regular um, sort of videos and I don't know if I thought people would like me to do that if I thought people because I'll be honest I don't like I don't like looking at myself um, on video anymore not that I ever used to but you know I was quite a bit younger um, I mean I was 35 when I started making videos of myself I had I do have hair I just got very short hair but as you can see there's a few patches it's not patches but it's not it's grey where it looks like patches it's just it's not really bald it's more just grey so you can't see the... I'm going to shut up now I don't want to talk about my bald head so yeah I don't like the way I look um, and I know the thing is with podcasts it doesn't matter because it's just my voice and no one cares. People listen to me and listen to my podcast, and they're not bothered about what I look and look like. And the problem with and I never with podcasts, I don't get a lot of feedback. I get hundreds of thousands of downloads a month, but I don't get hardly any feedback at all, really. Um, I have the occasional person was to leave a message on my website, jasonnewland.com. Um, there's a place there you can leave messages, um, testimonials, comments, feedback, whatever you want to call it, reviews. But on YouTube, there's more chance of um, comments and stuff and as we all know, everyone that's what has been, it's the, you know, just watched YouTube it, over the years, and you know that some of the stuff people write down could be in the comments section can be really awful. Now, I've been, I'd say, ninety five percent lucky. Ninety five percent. Jared on uh, YouTube says hello. Hi, Jared. Nice, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Laura says, I love the F insomnia vid so much. I never cared about. So it's going off. As soon as I try and read it, it's gone on. I never cared about your hairline as my eyes were closed, but it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, Ellen E plays says, True, some people are horrible. It's just, I think. I just had, I was really lucky. The thing is, what happened is a bit like this. I'd say, 
I was so fortunate because I don't get horrible, I don't get much horrible messages. Most of the people, I think, that listen or watch my videos in the past realised that I was coming from a, a good place and I was trying to help because, let's face it, let's be honest, the quality of the videos back then, I'm not saying it's great now, I'm not sure, because I'm using an iPad, uh, but the quality of the videos was so bad. Um, the content, not all the videos, some videos were a bit better than others, but, you know, the the quality of, this, of the content, I think, was the reason why people were watching. It was fairly okay quality, it was... Some of it was quite good, possibly. I don't know. I have to. I'm guessing. Uh, but again, that was just guessing because people were saying it and they were telling me that at the time. I had a lot of positive feedback. So I'd make a comment like that in the past, and then I wake up and it'd be uh, one person would be literally posting comments on every single video, some you know, like really horrible comment about how I looked or, um, you know, looked like a gremlin or whatever, you know, just, it's like, but why? How bored would you have to be to do that? And can you not see that I'm actually, you know, this is when every record, every video I did pretty much back then was a hypnosis video unless it was a vlog. And... It was only really the hypnosis videos that would get the reviews. The vlogs, I, I get like, hello, you're right, and, you know, catching up with people and I just chat about stuff. But it's weird. It's very strange, really. Ryan is, is watching. Hi, Ryan, on Facebook. So it's, I kind of moved away from YouTube and it was sad because it was so much of my life. I put some, put a huge amount of energy into it. I made lots of videos, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. Um, and then I deleted the YouTube channel. I was having a bit of a weird time and I just deleted it. Ryan says, hi Jason, how you doing mate? Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm groovy, thank you. Hope you're well. Um, that's on Facebook, right on Facebook. And it was just... It was weird. Just... Um, uh, Ryan says, keep up, keep up the great work. Listen to you almost every night. Thanks, Ryan. Um, which, just out of interest, which podcast do you listen to? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. Just, I like to try and get a little bit of feedback, you know sort of find out which podcasts um, people like to listen to. If anyone else has got any um, feedback with that as well, that'd be good. It's, I never, well, I think the, the podcasts I get, podcasts go up, okay. And what about the, the actual podcast itself? Because I've got the Let Me Boy to Sleep. I've got the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis podcast. I've got the Boring Objects podcast. I've got the Bedtime, Jason's Bedtime Storytime podcasts. I've got the Sleep Hypnosis, uh, Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily podcasts. That's a lot, isn't it? I've also got the Relax and Sleep, Relax and Sleep no, relax, relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety, and panic attacks. I've got insomnia. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. I've got a lot of podcasts. Um, I didn't realize how many I had till I tried to list them all. I should be able to name my podcasts, but there's about, I think, 12 podcasts I've got, if not more. But only... One, one, two, let me boy you sleep, deep sleep whisper, the daily one, um, probably about six that I do regularly, kind of regularly, ish, 
if you know what I mean. Can you believe I've been doing? I've got an itchy face. Nearly an hour. I've been on in nearly an hour already. Wow. Also, I've been thinking about traveling. Sebastian, oh, here we go. You never did a podcast with me. You always failed at. I did do a pod. I've done an episode, a couple of episodes with you, Sebastian. I haven't done a whole podcast with you, but I've done a. I did do a couple of um, things. Laura says, can't get YouTube to shut off automatically. I need to sleep. Bye for now, Jason. Bye, Laura. Thank you for joining. Um, and I'll speak to you another time. Um, I like this, you know, in a way, because I guess because when I do sort of come back to YouTube and I make videos, sometimes I get people that have been following me for 10 years, like pop up and say, oh, good to see you back. Almost like the, even though I haven't been around for a couple of years, it's, it's just a blob, a blob of time compared to the the period of time that I actually have been making YouTube videos, which is since 2007, I think. So, what's that, 14 years? 15 years? Ryan says, let me boy to sleep always puts me to sleep. I have trouble sleeping in and tried loads of different sleep meditation apps. I have to click to see more. Um... Only your bore, bore you to sleep works. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. I'm glad that it's useful. I am. Because um, that's why I'm doing it for, really. 14, Elney's helped me out. 14 years. Okay, cool. I lose track. But I've been doing all of this stuff since 2006, January. It's, it's weird because I just split with my girlfriend at the beginning of January. Um, I didn't find it particularly funny at the time, to be honest, but um, I was, I'd was i gone away, not gone away, but I spent the weekend in London doing a hypnosis course. And I... What did I do? Yeah, I phoned because I had a girlfriend and I'd I'd been with her not long, probably since October time. So I hadn't been together a long time. Um, but we, she got upset because I was spending the weekend in London. Even though I was coming home Saturday and then going back Sunday. But I got home and I was too tired to really have a conversation. So, you know, I've been up since like six in the morning and I got home and I just wanted to, I had to get out for work the next day. So I just needed just to go to bed and I think it upset her. And then the next day she said, oh, in the morning she texted me or phoned me or something and said, oh, I don't know how I feel about you. And uh, like, you know, that was the end of the relationship. So I said, oh, I'll see you then. Bye. When would it be ya? And I suddenly had all this energy that needed to go somewhere. So what I did is... Um, oh, Nikki says, I like the deep sleep whisper hypnosis ones to send me to sleep. You're too funny on the other ones sometimes. That's... That I'm trying to press the C more, but nothing's coming up. That's not a complaint. Just difficult to sleep when I keep laughing. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Um, yeah, it's sometimes I have to stop myself from laughing because sometimes I think of something and like, ooh. um, last time I didn't actually. Hi Anita, so on Facebook, I didn't, I did a, a live broadcast and I didn't actually release it in the end, I deleted it after we'd done it, but it was at one point that um, I just started laughing, I couldn't stop, 
I just found something that is really funny. Um, but that does happen sometimes. I just like, oh. Uh, you know when you get an idea in your head and it's just, it's sometimes not even like particularly funny, really. But it is, or it might be inappropriate. Uh, and I might be thinking something, or I've said something perhaps I shouldn't have said, or I didn't mean to say, or maybe it sounded weird. Like the other day, my friend, I was looking after my friend's dog. Uh, and he was here overnight for two nights. And he said, how's he been? He phoned me up and said, how's he been? He said, oh, he's, he's fine. You know, I said, I'll tell you what, though, I'm surprised how good he is in bed. It was a, a genuine sentence and it was genuine what I meant by that he started laughing I said what I mean by that is when I'm in bed he just lies at the bottom of the bed at the side it doesn't even lie on my legs because he's a heavy dog he's got very bony legs <laughs> so have I I guess I suppose most people have bony legs don't they because they've got bones in them but if he lies on you, he would just cut the circulation off of my legs. He's so heavy. And he's been so good. He lies down on the bed and he just sleeps on one side. Because I've got a big bed. There's enough room for both of us, really. And that's all I meant. I was saying your dog's really good in bed. Because I didn't expect him to be. I thought he was going to be lying on me and trying to push me out of the bed and stuff good luck that's not going to happen but i just i didn't think i didn't think he'd be quite as good in good in bed quite as relaxed he wasn't moving around a lot he just lied down and that was it so um a pleasure to sleep with i think but that's where i'm going with that so oh itchy oh so yeah, I've been, oh, I keep banging the microphone, sorry everyone. So I don't know about doing these live streams, what do you think? Should I do live streams? Is this something I should be doing? Is this something I shouldn't be doing? Is this something that's useful or is it annoying or, um, I'm not sure. Um, but genuinely, I don't know if it's if it's something I should be doing. It's one of those questions I don't have the answer to. I don't know what. Ba ba ba. So, um. The Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis ones, I'll be doing more of those soon. I'm still in the process of making some changes and that. But it's just so much to do, man. It's, it's weird because I'm grateful that I've got stuff to do. I'm grateful that there's no reason ever for me to be bored. Never. There's no reason ever for me to be uh, moaning about, oh, I'm bored, I've got nothing to do. But in reality, I'm not always motivated, especially when it's something that's really tedious, you know, like just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy. Sometimes I've got that, those kind of jobs to do. And I literally could spend 10 hours doing that. I can't spend 10 hours doing that, but, you know, that's how much work there is to do. And I don't feel motivated always to do that stuff, even though it needs to be done. And being a... Being an internet superstar... It's not all picnic and caviar. That rhymed. <laughs> so yeah. It's weird. 
those the who was if there's anyone still on YouTube, can you actually what is a picture like? Because I've got I've got no light. I've only got one light up there. The picture on the screen that I'm looking at isn't very good. It's not. I mean, it's not awful, but it's my face, so it's never going to be that good. But it's a little bit grainy. The picture on the Facebook is a fairly good picture. So I've got that on um, the new iPhone. So it's I've got that phone specifically for the camera. And it's looking, it looks okay as far as I can see. And I was surprised actually when I watched the YouTube video back, the picture was way better than it looked on my screen when I was actually making it. I don't know. I don't know why. So I just, yeah. I'm also, I might, I might, uh, I, I've talked about this before, I might start to try and uh, do a live um, Instagram as well. And the reason for that is because you can't share a video or a podcast in like a normal way on Instagram. It's ridiculous. It's complicated and it's not... Why you can't lie with Facebook? Just share the bloody thing. Just share it. There's a link. Share it. Have it embedded into it. But no. The only way to have like a full video that people can watch on Instagram is to stream live for two hours or whatever. And it will show and I have the full thing on there. Um, there might be a limit. I don't know. Inst uh, Sebastian says, Instagram's not for you. You're not that narcissistic oldie. Well, Instagram, it wouldn't. I'm not on there to put pictures of myself. But I'd be a bit silly not to recognise that there's a huge audience on Instagram. And I do have a following, not following, a following. I do have followers on Instagram. Let me have a look. Where's my phone? Don't look at me. my phone on Instagram where is it where's the Instagram there it is so I don't do anything really on Instagram hardly at all however I do have followers um Okay, a few followers, not not a lot. I don't know where I am, where am I? Nope. Blimey. Oh, there I go. So, I don't go on there. I've posted a few little bits and bobs, but nothing. Uh, a couple of like very short videos saying, do you want me to stream and... No one ever comments. But I've got 177 followers on Instagram. I've done 45 posts. So I don't know where the heck all those are. Oh, they're there. Blimey. How the heck did I do that? And welcome to Jason. So this... It's a 39 minute video on Instagram. Number 41, Let Me Boy to Sleep. Jason and 17, 7th of August 2018. Blimey. But I'm bored in that as well. Look, I don't even see that. Can you see that? <laughs> Look. Shall I play it? I have the audio like normal. I'll upload, upload those to Look. Spreaker, SoundCloud, my website and all that stuff. 
So this was madness. It must Wow. How there's another one there. That's this is when I used to do the videos. Oh, right, up 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 the nose podcast for some reason. This is back in two thousand and eleven. There you go, look. Look how much dark hair I had. <laughs> Blimey. That was back. 2011. Might be 2012. No, I think it's 2011. And I was a counsellor, and that room that I was doing the video was actually a therapy room. So what I used to do is I'd go in a little bit early, or I'd go in, if there was a, like an hour between clients, I would just make a video. So how come... I've got all those posts. <sighs> on my Instagram. But I seem to struggle to be able to put up new posts on now. How weird. Oh, they've disappeared now. Videos. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, that's that's the Instagram, so I don't know what to do there. Um, I'd like to... I'd like... See, for me, as I said, Instagram, I've got people on there that... Oops. <laughs> I've got people that follow me on Instagram. I've got people that... It's a small amount of people. And I guess a lot of those people are the same people that follow me on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter. I have a very small following on Twitter as well. That's uh, I, mean, I don't ever even tell anybody what, what my Twitter is. If you're interested, it's Jason Newland, at Jason Newland. So I had it so long, I don't even have it on my phone. No. Twitter's not on my phone, which is weird. I thought it should be on my phone. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why that is. So I don't know how many people I have on there. But um, I just... Instagram seems like a good place. There's lots of people that are on there. Millions and millions and millions. Uh, play L and E play says Odo I'm f I'm gotta go. Okay, thanks for listening or watching. Um, see you again. So yeah, I just I'd like to just like to reach more people, I guess. I suppose because. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pleased with how the podcasts have gone over the last year. It's grown considerably, the audience, mm. since since this time last year. I mean, this time last mm. year, I was struggling to reach 10,000 downloads a day. In mm. fact, reaching 10,000 downloads a day was a dream. It, that was my goal. My goal was to get 10,000 downloads in one day. I'd not ever got anywhere near it. Um, incidentally, today, I've had 23,500 downloads. So it's still a slow day, but it's still 
still okay generally but if I go back to last year <sighs> this time last year February February Blimey, come on. Something just, just, it's just really, I'm trying to do it and it keeps moving. February, I had, oh brilliant. There's no, the stats changed. They got rid of the stats, so it wasn't, it kind of got rid of it. So I didn't have any stats until April, I forgot about that. Annoying. April. So I go to, let's go to May. April, May. Yeah. So May. 193,699 downloads. So that's... What's that? 10,000 a day would be 300,000. So I wasn't getting anywhere near 10,000 downloads a day. Um, I'll give you an example. Why are you doing this to me? So, uh, okay, so the 2nd to the 8th of May, 53,000 downloads, so each day, the most I was getting, I think I got a really good day, like 9,000 downloads. So I was struggling to get anywhere near the 10,000. But eventually, by about May, June time, I started to get around the 10, just under the 10,000. And my, my target for two years was to reach 10,000 downloads in a day. Um... I believed I could do it, but I almost I also believe kind of believed I couldn't do it because I I wasn't doing it and it wasn't coming together. I had to have faith in myself, so I did, and I kept at it, and eventually I reached the ten thousand. But it was like a one-off, you know. It was like wow, I reached ten thousand, but the rest of the month have been sort of six thousand and seven thousands and four you know five thousands and eight thousands but i managed to reach the ten thousand on one day and then the next month maybe a couple of days i do it and then before long every day was above ten thousand and then every day was above twenty thousand and it just just like grew from there so it's only really the last half of last year that it really started to grow bigger. Um, <laughs> um, and this year, I mean, it's not been awful. I mean, December was busier. Like last December... I mean, according to this, the last 12 months, so since April, the middle of April, end of April time, so for uh, okay, so about nine and a half months, I've had 4.6 million downloads. But if I go to last month, January, seven hundred seventy-three and a half thousand downloads. 
773,522. So which is low compared to the, the day before, the month before. So the month before was December. Um, December, December, 849,000. Really? No. Blimey. I didn't realise I had that many downloads. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's the most I've ever had, ever. 849,000 downloads in December. Blimey. I didn't realise it was that many. So then January, it's sort of, so I've got about quite a few less, but it's still... I mean, in one week... 265,000 downloads in the second week. But it's a long month, isn't it? Blimey. I'll stop looking at that anyway. So, December was a lot busier, but it is the busiest month of the year, apparently, for everything. And January slowed down a little bit, but not a huge amount. You know, still 770-whatever thousand downloads. This month, it's hard to tell. It's only, what, the, the fifth of the month, so I can't really... It's not really fair to judge what this month's going to be. It's too early. But so far, if I just go this month so far, current month... 105,000 downloads. That's in, oh, six days. 105,000. So, yeah. It's all right, isn't it? I suppose. It's okay. Sebastian, oh my God, he's aroused himself with those meaningless numbers again. <laughs> 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 And he's even, he's even liked his own comments there. He's loved, he's loved. I know that he pressed the love there himself. He might not have done that. That is funny. <laughs> I'm arousing myself with my number. Well, someone's got to do it. No one else is going to touch it. <laughs> someone's got to just, you know, if, if you spent, I don't know, 15, 16, 14, whatever years. How many years is it? Since 2006. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 16 years of your life, man and boy, or young man and old man, you know, it's it's something that you'd take interest in. Well, you know, it's, it's it's something that you'd give attention to because um, if I ignored it, if I never looked, tried to do that in the past, I tried not to look at it. You know, so I just do it, flush a chain, wash my hands, don't look at it. Now, sometimes I try not to look at it, but I'll be honest, I'm interested. And... Nothing really interesting more than this. This is what I do. And just like with the stats on YouTube, and he, even though I've got 600 and... What is it? 622 subscribers when I last looked. I still look every day. You know, I don't have enough subscribers to monetize. I'm hundreds off. I need a thousand subscribers to monetize. Um, but I still look because it interests me. I'm interested to see how many, you know, what kind of viewings I get of my videos, even though it's tiny amounts of views. Now, if I get 50 views on a video, that's like, that's, that's, that's viral for me. <laughs> But 
I mean, the video views that I've got a few videos have got thousands of views. It's taken years to get that. Years and years and years. Well, I think everyone on YouTube's gone. The whole of YouTube has gone. Facebook, still got a couple of people who are still watching. Um, and it's probably time for me to go, really. I've been on here long enough. I've talked for long enough about stuff. And, yeah, I think the video is long enough. It doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be forever. It doesn't have to go on for forever. Mmm, and ever, you know. You know what I mean? When they say, leave, leave the audience wanting more, why can't I do that if the audience have all gone? The audience didn't want what I had. Why would they want more? <laughs> so, thank you to everyone for watching. Ban and say that again. Your favourite Uncle Hubert says, Ban Anton Krotov. He's a scams bot. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean there. Um, YouTube. Uh, that was on YouTube, so I'm not sure what that means. A scams bot. I tell you what, who I get scams from. Facebook. Literally every every few days, I get a, a, like an absolute. Uh, a, a female kind of model type female like just adding me and then I go on there I go into the profile and I do my stuff <laughs> I do a little bit of research I mean um she says uh, there's a, a bot in the chat but Really? Okay. So, um, apparently a scam, some scammer posted something on Facebook. So I have to have a look at that. Or is it on YouTube? I don't know. So, and I look at the pictures on the profile. And all it is is they have like a couple of pictures. And they've just opened the page, the Facebook page, a new Facebook page. And they maybe got 50 or 100 friends. All men. Now that's a clue straight away. You know. And uh, sometimes, usually they start contacting men. I say, what do you want? And they said, oh, what do you mean? How are you? I said, I'm fine. Do you listen to my podcast? I said, no. Why have you added me? Oh, I'm new here. I just wanted to make new friends. You're new to Facebook, yeah? What, are you two years old? How can you be new to Facebook? Facebook's been around since, what, 2007? You're not, you're an adult. These are adults, you know. You're not new to Facebook. People join Facebook when they're about 12 or whatever. I'm new to Facebook. I've only just, I've just discovered it. Where have you been? Where have you been in a dungeon? I discovered Facebook. It's amazing. There's all these people I can talk to and all these pictures I can look at. Blimey. So yeah, just scammers. And you know, what they want, they think, they look at me. I must come on a list of vulnerable middle-aged men who can't get girlfriends, who are so desperate and lonely that they can be scammed 
so that she can, or he, I don't know what, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. The picture's a woman, but it could be a man behind it. It could be a random picture that they've found. And they think that I'm going to chat to them by text for hours and hours and hours and weeks and fall in love and and then suddenly they have a family emergency which requires my money to be sent to them. Yeah. It only happened once, never again. Five times, but never again. Still happening. I'm texting her now. She needs a new computer. Okay, fine. How much? Four hundred dollars. Okay, it's fine. I'll do that in a minute. So, yeah, I've. I think if anything, those friend requests from those scammers makes I feel really rubbish to think that that's why I'm, that's my category. I'm not. I'm not in a category of like being a real human or being a, a normal person. I'm a category of being a sado. And that's what they think. I'm a and there's nothing to me that in their in their eyes I'm not calling people who are lonely sados because they're not. They're human beings with feelings. I'm just saying that's what they that's how they that's how they view me. And I don't get, I don't, I don't get lonely. I'm not a lonely person. I'm not, I don't need to be around people all the time. I'm very lucky or very unlucky. I don't know which. But, because some people can't stand being on their own. I have to be with somebody all the time. <laughs> it's like, what are you, a puppy? Don't go out, Daddy. I'll, I'll, I'll have to poo everywhere and I'll eat, I'll eat the furniture if you leave. I won't need you to be with me all the time, Mummy. I'm a puppy. I can't be left alone. Well, I'm not a puppy. I will poo on the floor and eat the furniture, but I'm not a puppy. That's my choice as an adult to do those things in my own home. I don't know where I'm going with this. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go. So thank you, everybody, for... You know what? I know there's not been many people watching or anything. A lot more people, I guess, will hear the podcast as opposed to seeing the videos or the, just the live stream. But you know what? It's, even though it's only been a few people, it's been quite nice to just have that little bit of interaction, if you know what I mean. So thank you. And thank you, my sidekick, Sebastian, for just not going away. <laughs> thank you. He's my lover. We're married, you know, me and Sebastian. We're married. And he won't tell anyone, but we are wife and wife. Who's clicking? He's he's liking. You know when you, you can click and like your own comments? That's what he's doing. He's loving his own comments. If it isn't you, whoever it is, please say, say something so I know. Because I'm pretty sure it's him. I think it's just him and the weird spam bot that's on there trying to spam me. It is me. <laughs> I knew it was. I knew it was. I'm not even covering it up. Well, no, you can't cover it up because you're, you're the only one watching. That's why you can't cover it up. So there. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. You take care. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. So thanks, everyone. And uh, I shall see you again soon. And I will be making another one of these podcasts. 
but will let me boy to sleep again tomorrow. It might not be a live broadcast, but it will be a podcast nevertheless. So take care. Bye. So I need to turn this off. How do I turn it off? Da 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 da. End on YouTube.